How do 16-year-old young men celebrate Christmas? And how do 61 years old old men like me celebrate Christmas? I can compare. When you're young, you're a boy, you're a child, you're a teenager, you celebrate Christmas with so much fun. You celebrate Christmas with friends. You spend the night laughing, eating, enjoying, telling stories. When you're 61 and you're Lolo, the laughter is not as present as when I was younger. The food, the food has to be well chosen, otherwise, the following day becomes sick day. What does celebrating Christmas mean at 61 years old and at 16 years old? The big word, brothers and sisters, is perspective. When you're 16, you look forward to a life that is almost unlimited. When you're 61, you know that you cannot have 61 more Christmases. When you're 61, you have celebrated more Christmases and the future Christmases are getting lower and lower in number. Then it gives you perspective. Then it gives you time to appreciate what this big day really means. And in the words of Julian of Norwich, he said, the meaning of Christmas is only this, love. Love is its meaning. When you're old and you celebrate Christmas, you also see that Christmas is not a single event. You also know that Christmas is not just event, an event in the past because the story of Jesus rests on two very important lamp posts. The first is Christmas and the second is Easter. The first is the crib and the second is the cross. That is why at Christmas we do not remove the cross. At Christmas the cross gives meaning to the crib and at Christmas the crib gives meaning to the cross. That is what being old gives us. It gives us an opportunity to understand that the crib and the cross are two sides of the same story. It gives us an opportunity to understand that Christmas without Easter is meaningless. It gives us an opportunity to understand that Christmas is only meaningful because the one who is born on Christmas midnight is also the one who is risen from the dead. Our most important or most favorite Christmas carol is Silent Night, Holy Night. When all the stars are bright, come to think of it, Silent Night, Holy Night, we can also sing that on Easter Sunday. Because Easter is silent, Easter is holy, Easter is also an opportunity for the angels to proclaim, Jesus is Lord. When you're old, and the older you get, you get a different perspective of Christmas. And you understand that the joy of Christmas cannot be separated from the joy of the resurrection. You understand that the joy of Christmas cannot be understood, separated from the joy of Easter. But between Christmas and Easter, something happens. And what is it? It is the service of Jesus. It is the ministry of Jesus. It is the living for others of Jesus. In other words, we will not be able to see 
the beauty, the joy of Easter Sunday unless we are, go, unless we are willing to go through the fatigue, the exhaustion, the tiredness, the giving of Galilee. We would not be able to understand the meaning of the resurrection unless we are willing to go through the dark night of Good Friday when the sun is darkened and then we understand that we have something to look forward to. Silent night, holy night. It is not only a Christmas song, it is also an Easter song. My dear brothers and sisters, when you're 16 and life is full of promises, Christmas can really be very happy and joyful. When you're 61 and you have no more parents and you have no more siblings to celebrate Christmas with you, when a video call would suffice, when you celebrate Christmas at 61 and uh, the body aches and the hair is white and then the threat of sickness and the reality of death is real sets in. Then you understand that Christmas must, must, must be celebrated with the right perspective. I say it again. Christmas gives purpose to the crucifixion. The crib and the cross are the same story. They are not different. And it is only when we are able to understand that the crib and the cross are one and the same, that the Christ born on Christmas Day is the same Christ risen on Easter Sunday, then we understand that the meaning of all of this is love. Love is its meaning. It sounds very simple, but it is very complicated. You will not be able to understand Christmas if you are not a loving person. And Christ will remain dead in your life if you have never loved.